Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour, and this video is about migrating from Google Backup and Sync to Drive for Desktop. As of October 1, 2021, Backup and Sync will no longer work. You will be prompted to convert to Drive for Desktop. First, a little bit about what has changed. This is their official list of what is different, and I've checked the ones that I think are important. Streaming files from Google Drive to the computer. Backup and Sync did not do that. If you asked for Google Drive files to be on your computer, they were copied f full size. On Drive, you can choose this streaming, which means they don't take up any space on your drive, but you do see the names of all the files and folders. Secondly, make selected folders on My Drive available offline. Well, that happened automatically with Backup and Sync because you got the whole files. In Drive for Desktop, you would have to go into each folder and specify to keep them available offline. Backup to Google Photos only. This is nice. It With Backup and Sync, it always backed up to Google Drive as well as Google Photos. In Drive for Desktop, you can choose just to go to Google Photos. And last thing to know, with Backup and Sync, you could prevent the sync part. You could delete from either the cloud or the computer and allow it to not sync to the other. In Google Drive for Desktop, things will be synced, period. You have no choice. So if you are using Backup and Sync, you will be seeing these messages. Google Drive is replacing Backup and Sync. You'll, it'll all pop up, will ask you to get started. If you click on Get Started, it will ask you for what account you're using, what Google account, no problem. Then it tells you a little bit of information. If you have chosen folders from your computer to get backed up to Drive, you now will need to tell it whether or not you want it to go to Google Drive, which is a sync process, or just get backed up to Google Photos. And we have another video on, on that. So then for each folder that you had been specifying in Backup and Sync, Google Drive for Desktop now needs to know which setting you are going to use. So I only had one folder that was going from my computer to my Google Drive, and that was for purposes of Google Photos. So I just check Google Photos now. This next part is what folders do you want from Google Drive, from the cloud storage coming down to your computer and, and syncing. You have no choice about the syncing. Whatever, whichever of these you choose will sync. But if you choose this mirror option, it means that every file on your Google Drive in the cloud is copied 100% to your computer. So if you have 50 gigabytes of files in your Google Drive, you will now have 50 gigabytes in your computer. I recommend choosing the stream files and then make folders available offline. Now this is kind of, if you say, what the world is stream files? Well, maybe you've used Dropbox and understand Smart Sync or OneDrive and files on demand. They're very similar. Once you have made those selections, you are almost done. It just wants you to confirm that you have chosen stream files and you're only backing up one folder to Google Photos. You click Save and you're done. Now I want to show you what it looks like. So here I am on my Windows computer and I'm looking at this PC. Notice that there is a Google Drive G. That is because I do have the Google Drive for Desktop installed and running. You see it on your sys tray in the lower right hand corner. On a Mac this would be in the upper right hand corner and if and it might be hidden so click the up arrow and there is Google Drive. Now I just want you to note, see what happens if I quit Google Drive and you do that with this gear wheel settings and 
quit. Now watch this Google Drive G. When I click quit, it disappears. So that is a virtual drive that only exists while Google Drive is working. So now how do I get Google Drive back working? Well, it will when you reboot, it will come back, but meanwhile, I can just search for drive and Google Drive now my Drive G is back and my Google Drive icon is back in the Sistray. The last thing I want to show you is how do you make a folder available offline. Well, if I look in my Google Drive and my Drive, these are all of the folders that exist in my cloud version of Google Drive. If I want to make one, notice these little green check marks, that means those are available offline. How did I do that? Right click on the folder, offline access, available offline. Now, even if you don't have an internet connection, you will still be able to open files in these. All the others you can still see see the listings but you won't be able to open them because they are streaming from the cloud.